So um, we're going to go over mounting the bracket for the motor controller today. Um, as you see, I've just got it laid on here right now. So um, last we talked about this, we were going to knock holes in this plate and holes in this plate, or this actually, this is the frame cover, so that we could run the wires from the controller, which is right down here, and in through this plate through this and into the inside of the frame where the battery is and where we're going to mount the um, step down transformer for the 12 volts to power the lighting and there is also a connection block in there and we want to we're going to put a plate inside here as well and that's going to be so we can mount those pieces firmly into position so should I take it off roading or right over a bunch of curves there won't be any vibration or parts flying around um, and we'll have places to put down wire clamps, um, you know, any kind of strapping to hold the wire in place as well. We want to make sure that everything is secure and everything is protected. Um, vibration can cause a lot of damage to wiring. Uh, if you have any kind of like motorcycles or anything, you notice that after time, the wiring can start to wear out around the handlebars when we're turning. Um, that is because wires may be getting chafed or rubbed. Um, if you get a bike that's been repaired before, sometimes the wiring isn't tacked up right and that's where you're going to find the first fail point. Okay, so what I've already done is I've already drilled the holes and what I did was I marked them both. I marked this here and then I set this on the side of, on top of the frame and I marked it here with a marker so that I had the same exact lineup. Then I measured center and then across to mark these holes and I drilled these two first. Now because we already got the mounting holes drilled we're able to and on here we're able to just throw this on here with a couple of the screws sticking up here and in the back I had a screw sticking up back here and I just threaded it up a little bit and then you stick this on here on top you see the desert lines everything up so once I had had the small pilot hole drilled I drilled through so I had the same exact location on the cover and then I went ahead and used my one inch hole saw and cut these out and then put rubber grommets in that I found at a hardware store. They're just a little play in there, but um, there's not enough to where this would come off. And the important thing is we're protecting wires from vibration in here, and we're also going to wrap the wires in a nylon wrap so that uh, the wires are completely protected and they're bundled together. Okay, and then the next thing I did is I went ahead and drilled holes bigger here. Then I used a half inch knockout, conduit knockout, and then I went to a three quarter inch knockout. Now what this is gonna do, it's gonna make a hole that's about an inch and an eighth. And the reason we did that is that these rubber grommets here stick out a little bit, but we want all this to sit flush. So with a little bit bigger hole here, so as you can see, these holes are big enough that this plate now can sit flush and the grommets can sit inside and you won't have any chafing on the plastic, on any of the plastic edges here, because of the, uh, the hole and the wiring going through there. This grommet is going to keep everything centered away from those holes. And then we're just going to mount this down here. What we want to do first is we need to get these threads, these bolts threaded up all the way and seated so that that way there's no interference with mounting the battery. Well, actually the battery box. This battery box has studs, it has uh, threads here, and this goes inside the bike frame like this, and then it bolts from underneath. So these bolts have to be bolted in flush, and then we'll mount the battery box so we can screw into here. And then we can throw the cover over top, then the plate, and then we can secure it with lock nuts on top. But what we're gonna do is 
as we talked about before, we're going to use blue Loctite to secure these in place. And what we're going to do is we're going to thread these down so that they're just a little bit sticking up. But this is what we want to do is we want to make sure that however thick this frame is, we want to make sure that that is how far down we are with the threads. So I measured this before and it was three quarter, a little under three quarters of an inch. So when I measured this, that was putting this bolt just a little less than flush. Okay. Now the reason we're going to do this is we do want to put Loctite on it, but we, want, we don't want Loctite all the way up the threads because we're going to put lock nuts on up there. And we don't want thread lock, uh, Loctite on there. Um, if we go to tighten the thread, tighten the nut onto the thread there, it could twist the bolt back if it grabs it enough. So we want to make sure it's free enough to thread on there, but still that lock ring, that nylon lock ring is what's going to hold that nut in place and hold this plate instead of secure. So we're going to lay this frame down on its side. So now I've got this sideways where I can drip Loctite, or my blue Loctite, onto these threads. And I'm going to thread them all the way up and seat them into the frame here. So I'm going to need my glasses for this because it is a, a very small bolt. I want to be able to see what I'm doing without just fiddling around and scratching something up. Here we go. We have all six screws seated. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to mount the battery box. Okay. You see, the urethane is still in here. I bought an adhesive back urethane, and I think it's really nice. It's good high temp. It'll actually, I think it's rated for over 200 degrees, which you should never see, but. If it does, it'll be nice and uh, it'll be nice and good in shape there for that. So let's make sure we got the right nuts for this. Okay, so this is going to be a permanent mount for the battery box now that we're assembling the bike. So again, I'm going to use just a little bit of Loctite, and uh, the reason for that is you don't want this to come loose either. Because if this comes loose, then I have to take all of this stuff off to get to this. But once this is in place, it shouldn't be a big a problem to get to. Um, the battery will slide out, so I won't have any issues there. And if I do, if I do think I'm gonna have access issues, this panel is removable. I just riveted it in place. I can actually take it out, do a strap instead across. So they do have two straps going here, across to here. So I could just cut it down to here and here. We're going to see first because I want to fit, I got to get this in here and I can always drill these out and then re, uh, fa re fasten them down here if I need to cut them out and make a strap so that I have more access to the battery. But we're going to go for it the way it is and then we'll come back if we need to. Nor not normally the way I do it, but I really want to get some of these videos out to you guys so you can kind of see what's going on and see the build progress. Uh, I apologize for the dog barking in the background. Uh, I have a few, so that's going to happen once in a while. I don't want to keep refilming or I'd be here all night for doing the one same step over and over again because they're always going to yap. This just happens every once in a while. So let's get this battery box in here. I'm going to thread the bolt through, get this first mount attached, okay. And then we'll get the next bolt on here. Again, just a little dab of Loctite on the end, not a whole lot, basically like the size of a dropper drop. That's about all you really need, because it's, it's gonna grab itself. And I think I've said that enough times that I don't need to repeat it anymore. Um, I just like to drill it into people that don't use too much. It's wasteful, because you're gonna end up wiping it off, and this is really good. If you're not just using some generic stuff. Um, it's gonna hold, it's gonna hold really good. Some of the generic stuff is a little watered down or thin, and it's not as, it's not, it doesn't have that, that firm hold. It's mostly blue liquid, just a color. So you want to make sure you have a good quality product there. These are our 
1032 stainless steel button head screws. Um, and the reason that, for that is I went to the hardware store and that's what they had, the length I needed. So now we're going to get the cover. We're going to put this back in place. You see it just slides right over top of these screws, nice and firm. You can see this is going to be a permanent mount. So um, this one came with 3M tape on the inside here. Um, I'm not going to peel it because if, should I ever have to take this off, I want to make sure I can. So we're just going to leave it the way it is there. If I find that there's water issues, like I see any water collecting in the frame, um, I'm first I'm going to question how the hell that happened because I've got basically everything sealed on here. Um, when this panel goes on here, and I tighten it down tomorrow, I'm actually going to put a small bead of silicone around the outside here so that it seals to this. So for now, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the build as much as I am. If you have any questions or comments, good or bad, put them down below. Uh, I do have links to the bike, uh, the, the company I bought this bike from, in case you're interested in buying one. Um, there's a link to my Instagram if you have any questions you want to post them there. So for now, I'm going to sign off. Take care, be smart, and we'll see you on the sunny side.